Hey everyone, for Complex Hustle, I'm Brian Hanley. Today we're gonna to answer a very basic question. What the f is the internet? When you play a new song on Spotify, or call an Uber, or match with somebody on Bumble, there's this entire network of networks built upon both hardware and software that's busily working behind the scenes to handle your request and deliver those digital services that you've come to depend upon. It's the so-called internet that's connecting our phones and tablets to these servers that are far, far away, tucked behind big walls in these large, unseen data centers. But when we think about the internet, we don't generally think about something that you can touch, right? It's more common that we imagine a cloud that has no physical form, it's just kind of there. We rarely if ever see the physical side of the internet because it's largely buried underground in submarine communication cables. But it's these underwater cables that transmit 99% of the world's data. It's these big, ugly underwater cables that literally connect us all. This complex, hidden system of hardware that keeps the internet running is really like the organs in our bodies. The internet simply couldn't function without it. And just like the organs in our bodies, these underwater cables have their weaknesses. In fact, they're vulnerable to all sorts of threats. It's not uncommon, for example, for fishermen to accidentally damage underwater communication cables with their anchors. And these fishermen are just the beginning of the story. Sharks have become notorious for gnawing on submarine communication cables. Back in 1989, the New York Times reported, sharks have shown an inexplicable taste for new fiber optic cables that are being strung along the ocean floor, linking the United States, Europe, and Japan. It remains a mystery as to why they do it, but sharks can indeed be so destructive that companies like Google are actually encasing their underwater cables with shark-proof shields. How absurd is that? Sharks are literally chewing on the internet as we speak, and Google's out there building shark-proof cables made of Kevlar, the same sh that's in bulletproof vests to stop them. So the next time you're streaming a show and you're getting a shoddy connection, there's a chance that there's a shark somewhere in the Atlantic Ocean to blame. And when you think about it like that, you start to realize that the internet's not something to be taken for granted. It's a living, breathing system just like our bodies. And the fact that it too is imperfect should only deepen our appreciation for it. For more stories like this, subscribe to Complex Hustle on YouTube and stay tuned for more technology news. For Complex Hustle, I'm Brian Hanley.